In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today, brothers and sisters, as we come to celebrate the sacrament of God's love, we are mindful that God has been at work in the life of Carlos and Tessa. He's been at work in your lives as you have come together during this difficult time, but God has a way of getting his way. And so today we celebrate not just what you two have been working on, but ultimately what God has been bringing about in your lives. As we prepare to celebrate this nuptial mass, let us call to mind the gift of God's mercy and open ourselves up to the gift of his forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness pour out your grace upon these your servants, Carlos and Tessa, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in your love and in their love for one another. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Friends, I invite you to be seated for the liturgy of the word. At this time, I would ask Isabella Perez to come up and pronounce our first reading from the Old Testament, the Book of Ruth. A reading from the Book of Ruth. But Ruth said, Do not urge me to leave you or to return from following you, for where you go, I will go, and where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die, and there will I be buried. May the Lord do so to me, and more also, if anything but death parts me from you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We have heard God's word now in the Old Testament. I now ask Ty Wheaton to come forward and pronounce our response to God with the response. The response is, how good is the Lord to all? The the Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in mercy. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. How good is the Lord to all. All your works shall thank you, O Lord, and all your faithful, faithful ones bless you. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food in due season. How good is the Lord to all. 
The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his deeds. The Lord is close to all who call him, who call on him in truth. How good is the Lord to all. I now ask C.J. Wheaton to come forward to pronounce our second reading from St. Paul. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. As a prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Please stand. Father, may I be blessed. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Jesus said to love one another as he loves us. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My dear friends, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Carlos and Tessa, your family and friends here in this church and watching us uh, from Texas, I greet you all. Welcome to Holy Cross Church on this beautiful day in which we celebrate the gift of God's love. It is good for us to be here. It is here, my brothers and sisters, in this holy place that we open ourselves up to the gift of God's love. These are the words from the Gospel that Tessa and Carlos selected for their wedding mass. The words of our Lord remain in my love. Since your, your first date at the movies, Toy Story 4, right? <laughs> and your long, long, long conversation afterwards, you have begun together to remain in God's love. What a blessing that is. But as your beautiful documentary, which I watched, commemorating your relationship together, reminds us the fact that you have remained together in God's love began long, long time ago, even before you knew each other. It began on the day of your baptism. And as you were baptized, you remained in God's love. And so that gift of God's love has been bringing you to this point today. And that is why today is such a, a great day for rejoicing. Because it's a reminder of God's love, which is always there for us. And we are so grateful for this opportunity to gather in church or to watch the liturgy live streamed. Because as I would think, 
for most of you, this is the first time that you have been in church since the pandemic began. Am I right about that? Do I see some heads nodding? Yes. It is here, my brothers and sisters, that we are strengthened. It is here that we open ourselves up to the gift of God's love. And we have needed that gift of God's love over the past several months, which have been very challenging. But that gift of God's love has brought Tessa and Carlos and each of us here to this holy place. And both of you, Carlos and Tessa, you have given us a wonderful reminder of how to deal with challenges. And challenges come our way. You have reminded us in your example, your powerful example, of how to deal with adversity and difficulty. It wasn't far from this holy place here in Charlotte that you became engaged on the magnificent pier going into the lake. It was using a ring made out of rubber because the jewelry shops were closed, right? What God can do with, God can do without. It has nothing to do with the quality of materials. It has everything to do with a willingness to give one's heart. One's heart to God, one's heart to the one you love. And on that pier, a cold day, as I recall you saying, you both committed yourselves to one another. And so it is very fitting for us to join here on a slightly warmer day with these beautiful symbols, these beautiful symbols of a ring, And the ring, my brothers and sisters, is so significant because it is another reminder of how we are to remain in God's love. Notice how the wedding ring, the wedding band, does not have a beginning or an end. It is a continuous circle. And that is God's love for us. That is God's love for both of you. And that love will guide you. Just as it has guided you your entire lives, it will guide you all the days that are ahead. I had the privilege of meeting with Tessa and Carlos a couple weeks ago, and I asked them, why a church wedding? As we know, some people don't get married in church. And I said, why a church wedding? Carlos responded, It is important to receive the grace of God. With that, we can go through anything. Tessa beautifully responded, I love the idea of a partnership for life. In both of their responses, we're reminded of God's invitation to remain in his love. And that is what we are all called to do. Whether we are married, whether we are single, whether we've given our lives to the ministry of the church, to remain in God's love. And so today, as we come together to celebrate the beautiful sacrament of marriage, we ask that this time in God's holy place will strengthen us, that the example of Carlos and Tessa will give us strength and remind us that God is with us. It's no mistake that we come together today on the feast of Our Lady of the Assumption, the Assumption of Our Lady into Heaven. On this day, the Church remembers what we hold and believe that Mary was assumed into heaven, body 
and soul into heaven. And on this day, we're reminded that Mary, the mother of Jesus, was at the wedding feast at Cana, and that she interceded for that couple at the wedding at Cana. She helped them, asking her son to have mercy on them, to provide for them. And today, my brothers and sisters, she provides and intercedes for us. So today, as we see flowers placed by the statue of Mary, fittingly on this, the day of the Assumption, we ask that Mary will continue to intercede for Carlos and Tessa and for all of us. And that God's servants, Carlos and Tessa, will continue always and everywhere to grow in their relationship, their relationship with a loving God and their relationship with one another. Do you guys have any questions? We're ready? We can do this. Wonderful. It's so exciting. Good. I invite you to come back to your place here. Dearly beloved, have you come together here in this church before the ministers of the church and in the presence of the community, your family and friends, so that your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord through a sacred seal and that your love will be enriched with his blessing so that you may be strengthened to fulfill the duties of marriage and to assume, to assume the responsibilities of married life. And so in the presence of the church, I now ask you to state your intentions. Carlos and Tessa, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? We yeah. have. Are you prepared? as you follow the path of marriage, to love and honor each other as long as you both shall live? We are. are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up in accordance to the law of Christ and his church? We are. Wonderful. Since it is your intention then to enter into marriage, I invite you to face each other and to join your right hands and declare your consent before God and his church. <clears throat> we'll start with Carlos. Carlos, you'll just repeat after me, please. I, Carlos, take you, Tessa. I, Carlos, take you, Tessa. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and honor you. To love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Now, Tessa, repeating after me, you will say, I, Tessa, take you, Carlos, to be my husband. I, Tessa, take you, Carlos, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and honor you. To love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. May the Lord, in his kindness, strengthen your consent that you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessings within you. What God has joined, no one must divide. Bless and sanctify your servants, 
in their love, O Lord, and let these rings be a sign of their faithfulness, and remind them of their love for one another, through Christ our Lord. Tessa, receive this ring. Tessa, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Bless, O oh Lord, these hearts that Carlos and Tessa give to each other. And pour over them the abundance of your good gifts. Carlos, receive these arms as a pledge of God's blessing and a sign of the good gifts you will receive. Tessa, receive these arms as a pledge of God's blessing and a sign of the good gifts you will receive. Bless, O oh Lord, this lotto, a symbol of the indissoluble union that Carlos and Tessa have established from this day forward, before you and with your
that you have been strengthened in the sacrament of marriage, I now say, Carlos, you may kiss the bride. If joy could take on two faces, it would be right here, right now. I think it is. We're so happy for you. God bless you both. At this time, I would ask Isabella, Ty, and CJ to come forward for our universal prayer. Dear brothers and sisters, as we call to mind the special gift of grace and charity with God that has been pleased, the Lord has been pleased to crown and consecrate in the love of his servants Carlos and Tessa, let us now commend them to the Lord that with the faithful Christians, God's servants, newly married, may always enjoy health and well-being. I think I just said the first one, but you could take it again. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For this bride and groom, and for their well-being as a family, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For their relatives and friends, and for all who have assisted this couple, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For young people preparing to enter marriage, and for all whom the Lord is calling to another state of life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all families throughout the world, and for lasting peace among all people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all members of our families who have passed from this world, and for all the departed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, the holy people of God, and for unity among all Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Loving and gracious God, we know that you hear all the prayers that we, your people, bring before you. As we voice these prayers and those uttered in the silence of our hearts, we also ask for the intercession of Mary, our Lady of Guadalupe, as we all pray together. Hail, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I invite you to be seated. As we prepare the altar and the gifts, Carlos and Tessa are going to present flowers to the Blessed Mother today on the Feast of the Assumption. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive in your kindness, O Lord, the offerings we bring in gladness before you, and in your fatherly love watch over those you have joined in a sacramental covenant through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in Him you have made a new covenant with your people, so that as you have redeemed man and woman by the mystery of Christ's death and resurrection, so in Christ you brought, so in Christ you make them partakers of divine nature and joint heirs with him in heavenly glory. In the union of husband and wife, you give a sign of the church's, you give a sign of Christ's loving gift and grace, so that the sacrament we celebrate may draw us back more deeply into the wondrous design of your love. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. I invite you to kneel or to be seated as is your custom. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and Matthew, our Bishop Emeritus, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. I invite you to stand now. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the joyful hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, Holy Father, you formed man in your own image. Male and female, you, cremate, you created them, so that husband and wife, united in body and heart, might fulfill their calling in the world. O God, who, to reveal the great design you formed in your love, willed that the love of spouses for each other should foreshadow the covenant you graciously made with your people, so that by fulfillment of the sacramental sign, the, magic, the mystical marriage of Christ to his church might become manifest in the union of husband and wife among your faithful. Graciously stretch out your hand on these, your servants, Carlos and Tessa. We pray, pour out into their hearts the power of the Holy Spirit. Grant, O Lord, that they may enter upon this sacramental union. As they enter upon this sacramental union, they may share with one another the gifts of your love, and being for each other a sign of your presence, become one heart and one mind. May they also sustain, O Lord, by their deeds, the home they have formed, to be welcoming to your people, graciously crowned, with your blessings, this your daughter, Tessa, so that by being a good wife, she may bring warmth to her home and 
with love that is pure and adorn this home to be welcoming and gracious. Bestow your blessings, O Lord, we pray, on this your servant, Carlos, that he may be a worthy, good, and faithful husband. Grant, O Holy Father, that from your table, as this couple is joined in marriage in your presence, they may one day have the joy of partaking at the great banquet in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Friends, for communion this morning, or this afternoon rather, we will give Holy Communion to Carlos and Tessa first. And then after they've received, I will then uh, offer communion to our friends in this section. And once you have come up, then we will have, I will come over here and offer communion to my friends in this section here. If you would like to come up and um, not receive Holy Communion, but receive a blessing instead, Please just put your arms like this, and you will receive a blessing. We do ask that as you come up, you have your mask on, and then step to the side, and then place the host in your mouth if you're going to receive. And then please return to your pews using the two side aisles. At this time, friends, I invite you to please kneel or be seated, as is your custom. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
before our prayer after communion, I just want to thank uh, everyone who has helped to uh, prepare for this beautiful liturgy. I want to thank Deacon Joe and Natalie for preparing. Uh, the couple did a beautiful job. I kind of came in at the last minute, really, and met with you, but Deacon Joe and Natalie did such a great job. I want to thank our sacristans, our technology friends up in the loft for live streaming the, the Mass all the way to Texas, which is great, so family can be there and see that. I want to thank our musicians. Didn't they do such a beautiful job? Our orchestra. Loris, our lectors and intercessor prayers, they did such a beautiful job. Stand up, did a great job. Stand up, stand up. <laughs> you guys are too humble. Um, and uh, I, think I, I think I've got everybody. If I forgot anybody, I owe you an Abbott's ice cream or something. But... Um, what a wonderful day to celebrate the gift of God's love. Thank you so much for including us in on this celebration. I invite you to stand now. Let us pray. Having been partakers at your table, we pray, O Lord, that those who are united by the sacrament of marriage may always hold fast to you and proclaim your name to the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you to respond amen to each of these prayers. May God the Eternal Father keep you of one heart in love for one another that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and always remain in your home. Amen. May you be blessed with children and have the solace of friends and enjoy true peace with everyone. Amen. May you be willing to be witnesses in the world to God's charity so that the afflicted and the needy will find in you kindness and may one day you receive the fullness of God's peace in eternal dwellings with God. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I would ask Tessa and Carlos to come and stand and face the congregation. Father did a wonderful job thanking everybody. I'd like to take one moment to thank the parents yes, of, of these two because without them we wouldn't be standing here. In different times, it usually is the DJ at a reception that says I'm introducing them for the first time as a married couple. It really is the deacon's job to do that. So I would like to introduce to all of you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Carlos and Tessa Perez.